welcome to Bible Main Elementary. I am so glad that you chose to hang out with me today. Thank you for doing that. Today, I want to talk about will God let us make bad choices? And of course, God will let us make bad choices. And in fact, there are tons of examples in the Bible. The one that we're going to talk about is Jonah, though. So if you want to follow along with me, open up your Bible to Jonah chapter 1, verse 1, and we're going to talk about it. So Jonah is a prophet of God, meaning someone that hears a message from God and then tells it to other people. And God tells Jonah, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh, and I want you to tell those people to turn away from what they're doing. And Jonah was like, wait, wait, whoa, 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 time out. Those people? You want me to go talk to those people? I don't even like those people. Those people are like garbage trash people. They are bad people. God, why would you want to save them? I'm not going to go talk to them. And so he says no, and he starts running away from God. And he goes to a boat, and he's like, get me out of here. And he goes in the opposite direction of Nineveh. But God does stick with Jonah, and there is a storm that happens overnight while Jonah is trying to sleep down under the deck. And everyone on the boat is freaking out. He will now show you how impossible it is to ignite the fireproof paper in this basket. And then the captain runs downstairs and he's like, what are you doing? Why are you asleep? Come help us out. Maybe pray to your God and see if he will calm the storm. Because this guy was pretty sure that they were going to go down. And if they were going to go down, they were going to pray to every God, even if they didn't believe in those gods. And when Jonah got up, he knew he was the reason this was happening. And he goes out onto the deck and he says, guys, it's my fault. God's mad at me. Just throw me overboard. But the people, they still love Jonah. And they're like, no, we can't do that to you. And so they try very hard to row the boat back towards shore. But it is not working. Finally, realizing that this is not going to work, they say, okay, we will throw you overboard. But please pray to your God that he will not be mad at us. And then they throw him overboard. Now, you may think that God is forcing Jonah's hand here. Because he kind of is forcing his hand. But don't worry, I have a whale of a tail for you. Just a little fishy humor for you. So come back next time and we're going to talk about how Jonah turns into a radioactive mutant. Except not really. He's not, not really. Hey, thanks for checking out by Made Elementary. I am so glad that you could hang out with me today. And I want to remind you that you are awesome. You were made on purpose for a purpose and God loves you so much and I Love you because you're my neighbor and I'm supposed to love you as my neighbor. Something Jonah doesn't really learn through this whole story. Hopefully he did at the end. We don't really know. But yeah, I love you and I think you're great. And so I will see you around. Give me a high five on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh!